Hello and welcome back, you guys. It's good to have you back here on quarter three. I would be lying if I say I did not miss all of you. So it's really nice to have you back. Um, we are starting this new day, this new unit, this new quarter with a new unit. We are transitioning. So first quarter, we did um, a bit of chemistry. We did a bit of life science, a little genetics. And today um, we start some earth science, which is going to be fun. So just real quick, um, look over these expectations for um, for Zoom. Let me make my, move myself out of here. Here we go. Um, remember to make sure that your name is on Zoom. You guys get this by now. Um, make sure, though, if you're missing my class for any reason, I mean, let me know, but also check Google Classroom. Watch this video. Uh, that's why I made it, in case you missed class. Um, if I asked you to something in class, I expect you to answer it. And if I ask for your cameras on, I expect you to be able to make that happen or have an extremely strong excuse why. That means uh, get out of bed and sit on a table. Uh, don't sit on a table, sit on a chair at a table, have your computer ready to go. Um, if you want to, you can do the thing where you like point it at the sky, you've got your bald head in there. That way at least I know you're present. Um, Things like that. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Like always, I have a scientist of the day for you. I'm really excited about this one. Um, on our first day of the unit, I'm going to ask you some questions and just through Pear Deck. And then I'm going to go over real quick the homeschool connection for you. So this is um, Gitanjali Rao, and she is our scientist of the day. She is she was born in 2005, so you might be able to quickly figure out how old she is. And she lives in Denver, Colorado. Let me fix that. That is lives in Denver, Colorado. And she is the kid of the year. At least she was the kid of the year for 2020. Yeah. Time Magazine usually does like a person of the year. It's often like a president or maybe a, uh, an entertainer or a business leader who made a really big difference. Um, she is the first ever kid of the year, which is really cool. Um, she's a scientist. She is uh, 15. And since she was 12, she's been doing cool stuff. So um, now, right now, she uses artificial intelligence to create apps. Um, she works on contaminated drinking water, being able to like tell if your drinking water is contaminated using an app. Um, cyberbullying, opioid addiction. Uh, uh, when she was 12, she developed a thing that you could like stick in the water to see if there's lead in the water. It's amazing. Um, go and listen to her talk. You can read this news article about her, but she's had multiple TED Talks. That's when she like stands on a stage and talks about things that she knows about and then people she wants to teach people. Um, do that. Go and watch. This is actually a, a search. It shows you all of her TED Talks. Go and watch them. They're super inspiring. Okay, so I'm just going to really quickly go through and read to you all of the slides. Because remember, today I'm actually uh, curious on what you guys already know about the earth science stuff that we're gonna talk about over the next month or so. So um, here's Washington State. I don't know if any of you guys have ever, um, I don't think any of you have taken uh, uh, Washington, what's it called? P Pacific Northwest history with Ms. Hodgett. Um, but hey, I can start you off on learning some of this stuff. I'm curious, what do you know about where these things are in our, in our state, let me move myself over here. Uh, where are the Cascades? Where are the Olympics? Where's Mount Rainier? Where's the Puget Sound? Uh, where's Lake Washington? Where's the Columbia River? And then is there anything else that you could label? Seattle, SeaTac, things like that. Give it a shot. Um, next question. Which of these is the tallest mountain in Washington? Oh, and you can't see the multiple choice, but if you go through, you can. Um, I'm curious what the tallest mountain in Washington is. Uh, this is Mount Rainier and it's a volcano. What does that mean? What do you already know about volcanoes? Ask yourself for that. Um, what do you know about these gifts? What's happening in these? When was this? Uh, why does this happen? Etc. cetera. Um, find the Hawaiian Islands for me. Put the orange star on it. Here are the Hawaiian Islands. How did they form in the middle of the ocean like that? That's weird. Where did they come from? Um, here is a map of volcanoes. Here's the Pacific Ocean. We live over here. How come there's so many volcanoes around the Pacific Ocean? What do you know about that? Um, hey, here's a bunch of mountain ranges. They're kind of in uh, red here. Uh, I don't don't think I could name them all. I could name some of them. Um, name a mountain range. Any mountain range. Name one. Um, where do mountain ranges come from? That's weird. 
Uh, where's that? Do you know? Might be right outside your door. Um, name any other lake in the world, and then tell me how a lake is formed. Where do lakes come? Like, why is there? Why are there lakes? Kind of the same question with volcanoes and mountains. Um, this is an Antelope Canyon in Arizona. Look at it. Really pretty cool. Let me put this behind like that. Look at the light coming through there. This is like sand down here. This is all rock. How did something like this form? Um, I don't know if you've noticed this before, if you've seen this before, but this is a picture of what's called Pangaea. And scientists think that the continents used to look like this. Why do they think that? What evidence do they have for this idea? Um, as you can tell, a lot of these things we're gonna, I'm going to be teaching you. I'm just kind of curious, what, what do you already know? Do you have no idea? Do you have some idea? Have you heard of something, but you don't remember why? I saw that thing in a video, but I forget what his point was. That kind of thing, that's what I'm looking for today. Tell me what a fossil is. And then here's a question. These fossils are of ancient sea creatures. Where do you think they were found? And how come they were found up here in the mountains. All right, all right, all right. So um, if you go today to the um, Google Classroom, you will find an assignment called Homeschool Connection number four. I want you to be talking to an adult at home about pictures of different landforms. Um, and I'm curious of which ones they know about. So landforms means uh, I, I gave you mountains and islands and, and, and canyons and probably a few other types of things, hills and, and stuff like that. Can, oh, actually, can you get, um, curious of where, what they already know about them. Maybe they haven't, so they're from all over the world and I tried to include as many places as fam, our families are from, but I couldn't get everywhere and I'm sorry. But I'm curious on these blue questions you see here. Um, you're gonna have to find a Google Classroom to open it so you can't use this as a link or anything because everyone needs their own copy. Um, so I'm curious on what you already know about the landforms. Uh, which ones do you know? Um, I'm really curious about, do you, are they personally interesting? Does it, have any of your family like been there? Have they seen it before? Or do they know somebody who's seen it and they've told them about it? Um, I also am curious if they, if they are from, if your family is from where these places are, um, is there any cultural significance to these places, to these mountains, to these um, islands, things like that? Um, and do they know anything about what they were formed, either like the geology, the science of how they were formed, or they're like a local legend or mythology about how they were formed? I'm really interested in that kind of thing, because um, as you'll learn about in, in history class, the, the way that humans and the earth uh, interact is really cool and important. Um, geography, like where we're from, and the geology, like what the earth is like, they're, they're, they're really tightly knit together, and I, so I think it's really cool. Um, and I want to know more. So these are these are just real quick. I'll go through the slides. So they're, these are all on the Google Doc. That is your assignment. That's Mount Fuji, Honglang Bay, Simeon Mountains, Chocolate Hills, uh, Vol Volcan El Boqueron, Tapu, Grand Canyon, Kilauea. Uh, this is a road in Himachal Pradesh. This is Boca del Tunnel uh, Adventure Park. This is Mount Kilimanjaro. I actually changed this one. So this isn't on there anymore. Uh, this is the Karakoram Mountains. Uh, this is the Bikini Atoll, this is El Arco de Cabo, this is Mount Rainier, and this is, oh, here's the new one, Berbera Beach is actually on there for number 11. So, um, which of these have your family aware of? And you just have to tell me about, like, three, up to three. If they like, oh, I've known all, I've been to all of these things. You don't need to talk to me about all of them. Pick the three that are most important. Um, and that is not due until Friday, so you have all week to complete that. Um, I hope this was clear. It I hope that I get to see you in class uh, tomorrow on Tuesday. It's really nice to start a new quarter with you guys, and I will see you soon. If I could figure out how to end this.